Oi there elites, how's it going? It's me, Minecraft Matt Waddles here. Hope you're doing well today. So, the following statement is potentially going to be semi-controversial. Uh, Woodland Mansions in Minecraft are just lame. I mean, for a structure that you could potentially have to go 15,000 plus blocks for, it, it's really nothing special at all. You'd think something like this would have better loot, or at least the mobs would respawn inside of it. Uh, something, uh, literally anything, to make it better than it is. Currently, you travel an insane amount of blocks to find one of these things, you raid it once, and then that's it. The mobs don't respawn here, and the loot isn't even that good. But in today's video, that all changes. Today, we'll be taking a look at a really cool data pack by Six Foot Blue that improves Woodland Mansions big time. I'll drop a data pack link down in the description below. You should definitely check it out if you'd like. The data pack is compatible with Minecraft 1.15.1. Hey, so as always, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. All of my links are down in the description below. Ah, so first, a general overview of this data pack. This data pack is the fancier mansion data pack by Six Foot Blue. This pack aims to overhaul the Woodland Mansion pretty much entirely. And unfortunately, mansions will still be crazy rare. But once you find a mansion, you'll at least have something a little bit more interesting to look at and a little bit more fun to explore. Alright, so I think the best way to do this is to actually do it in survival. So today, we're going to just go ahead and raid the Woodland Mansion, and I'll talk about my thoughts and showcase the thing as we go. Now, you guys already saw the outside of the Improved Mansion in the intro, and oh boy, it looks really good. It's my bet that it will look even better inside of the thing, because, I mean, why wouldn't it? So... Um, okay. <laughs> Hi, zombie. You're, you, you're not really needed right now. Let's start by, I guess, looking around by the staircase. What do we have back? Oh, wow. Terracotta. No, that's, that's really cool. That's a great use of that stuff. Wow, I'm impressed already, and we literally just saw the underside of a staircase. So, I guess let's go to the left and check this thing out. Now, the mob generation has not been changed with this data pack. Mobs will still spawn inside of the thing as normal. Now, that is actually also going to be the same same thing for the loot. With this data pack in your world, the loot found inside of the chests within these mansions will be exactly the same. Where things kind of start to get different is with things like this. Like, that's a blast furnace, and those are barrels. Those are 1.14 things, and the Woodland Mansion was added way, way before 1.14. I really feel like the Woodland Mansion needs, uh, oh, hey, a loom, hey, and this looks like it's trying to convey something. What, what is all of this? Uh, not a clue, <laughs> but it looks cool. So I feel like the Woodland Mansion really needs an update, especially ever since Minecraft 1.14 released. 1.14 added a bunch of blocks that would fit into the Woodland Mansion really well, so that would be cool to see. So another one of those guys over there. We're just not going to hang out with them. We'll just get rid of him. And hey, well, 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 isn't that a nice surprise? Go away please hey, thank you so what do we have over here this is a jail room so these are definitely in the normal structure but it definitely does not look like this in the normal uh, hey skeleton you're gonna stay in there it definitely doesn't look like this in normal vanilla minecraft this is okay hey buddy uh nice to meet you too goodbye that's a pretty fancy jail, if I do say so myself. So, what is this? This is like a study, like a library, a repeater too. What are we... What are we trying to do here? Illagers, pillagers, what are we doing? This is weird. Then, back here at the end of the hall, we have one of those storage rooms, but instead of only chests this time, we have barrels as well, which is really, really cool. Then, right across the hall from that room, we have this room with the secret loot up there. Very cool. So, I think the carpet has been updated to gray and black. I don't think it's normally like that in the vanilla mansion, and this rug in the hallway is definitely customized. In a vanilla mansion, for some reason, it's all only just red. If I'm being honest, no offense, Mojang, but I don't know why they would have ever done that. Like, that's pretty boring. There are, you know, 15 other carpet colors other than just red, so yeah, why not use them? <laughs> Ah, so now we have one of these flower temple rooms. I've always been confused about those rooms. Then, oh, wow. 
Oh, okay, okay, this is like a lounge area. Wow, oh, whoa, that actually really scared me. That scared me, like, way too much. Hey, buddy, you, you can back up. Uh, I turned keep inventory on, so if anything bad happens, it's not going to be a big deal. And, uh, by the way, we have a pretty decent sword and a pretty decent bow. But this room, this room is so, so cool. I feel like this almost adds a bit of Lord of the Pillagers. Like, uh, do they relax in this nice fountain room? Ew, like, what is this all about? But... Uh, pretty impressed. This is definitely my favorite room so far. Now, out here, it sounds like we have a bunch of mobs waiting for us somewhere. Uh, maybe they're in the jail. At least the skeleton is. Uh, hey, a creeper and two of those guys. You guys are a little more important than the skeleton. Uh, what are you doing, dude? Uh, that's weird. So, yeah, another jail. We've already seen that, though. So, carrying on down the hall, we have another one of these rooms with... The hidden loot up there, golden apple, that's pretty good, we're gonna keep that, that might come in handy, and then, uh, what is this, another jail, lots of jails inside of this mansion, and then, last but not least, a another one of these rooms with some hidden loot back there, not very well hidden though, crosswalker, wow, that's pretty good, so, these mansions are still randomized with this data pack. Vanilla Woodland Mansions have a bunch of different rooms, and this data pack doesn't change that at all. There are still a bunch of random rooms, so that means if you find, like, two mansions, they'll still probably be very, very different. A, I guess it's apple time. Oh, Okay. okay, so we have a campfire room. That's really cool. Another block that definitely needs to be in the Woodland Mansion because why not? Then a banquet hall and actually this is really cool to see cakes generating in Minecraft. They're kind of pointless and, and honestly a little forgotten. So at least seeing them generate sometimes, that would be pretty cool. And there's one of those boss guys. The evoker is not somebody to mess around with. So we're just going to go ahead and take care of him from far away. Boom, not a problem. Now, a map room. The map rooms are one of my favorite rooms in the vanilla mansions. I think they're really cool, and this map room is a little dangerous, but definitely really, really cool looking. Now, one thing that I like the Six Foot Blue did is incorporating stone bricks. Stone bricks work so, so well with dark oak wood, and so seeing them in a mansion like this, it honestly makes the mansion feel even more evil than it is normally. We're just going to go ahead and skip those bad guys back there, by the way. But yeah, the stone bricks definitely make this mansion feel way, way more evil. Now, uh, another campfire room and a random meeting room with a redstone torch. Very cool, but I saw the staircase up here. So let's go ahead and go up to floor three and see what we have. This is a really big woodland mansion, like... This feels giant. Oh, this is one of those boxing rooms. I've always liked this room. I think this one is really interesting. Down the hall, it looks like we have a library with a, whoa, a really fancy bookcase, or three of them, wow. That's awesome. I need to remember this for, for my survival world. This is, that's the coolest bookcase I've ever seen with the trap doors, wow. Good on you, Six Foot Blue. That is, that's, that's a pro move. That's really cool, and the chairs are awesome too. They're like simple, but really really nice now uh, what do we have down here anything else you're just a just a cake room they're eating cake very cool okay we gotta we gotta go back so so far so good i am really really impressed with the mansion we're actually almost done with the thing though we have one more side to explore which is right over this way so what do we have over here is oh and it oh this is awesome this is like uh like they're trying to spawn the wither but you don't do it with a pumpkin and then the enchantment table wow okay this is this is my favorite room that is that's awesome we just found an illager like a whole summoning ritual yeah definitely a lot of lore there that's that's really really cool i love lore things lore is one of my favorite things and i feel like minecraft oh hey another one and a creeper hey you're gonna you're gonna back up buddy hey anyways i love lore and i feel like minecraft doesn't have much by default at least if you don't think about it too much it doesn't really have a bunch of lore so by doing things like this and kind of suggesting things i i think that's really really cool and adds more depth to this place so another meeting room, we saw one of these, and a boss, we're just gonna go ahead and ignore him, and then a cake room, and I think that's it, other than any potential hidden rooms. So overall, it's safe to say that I'm pretty impressed with this Woodland Mansion. This is, 
so so cool and i'd love to see mojang do something like this if they were to ever revamp the woodland mansions now personally i feel like mobs should respawn in woodland mansions sort of like how they do at outposts it would make these structures a whole lot more useful and a little bit more interesting they're not like a run 15,000 blocks and explore it once and then you're done type of thing it's it, that's never made much sense to me but I think that just about does it for the Fancier Mansions data pack by Six Foot Blue. What do you think? Now, in my honest opinion, I think this fits into vanilla Minecraft pretty well. It only changes the structure. So if you're interested, again, there's a download link down in the description below. How would you improve Woodland Mansions if it was your job to improve them? My name is Waddles. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. All of my links, like my Twitch and my Instagram, are down in the description below. If you love what I do, consider supporting me on Patreon or pressing that join button. That works too. But until next time, Elite, stay cool. I'll see you later. Goodbye.